This is the updated tutorial for the Rainbow Loom Frog. I have fixed all the mistakes, so I hope you'll be able to understand and make it. If you still have any more questions, you can comment them down below. And let's get started. So the materials you will need to make this frog is a hook. You'll also need some green bands and you will need some white bands for the belly and some pink bands for the cheeks and you'll also need a black band for the mouth and then for the eyes you can use felt or you can use safety eyes which looks like this and uh, I will be I'll not be using this size this is just to show you what it looks like you can get safety eyes on like Amazon craft stores that's yeah I got mine online and you also need some stuffing so the estimate for the beds will be in the, the description. So now we can get started. So let's get started. The beginning is probably the hardest part and I actually have a separate video showing you how to do it too. So I'll have the link below. So first we're going to take one green band. We're going to wrap it around our hook like this. We're gonna fold it both sides like this. Okay, and then we're going to take a C-clip or an S-clip and put it on both sides of the band, like this, right? And then we're going to do two more chains. So right now we have one chain, now we're going to do two more. And as usual, the pattern is going to be in the corner. So hopefully that helps. So we're gonna put another green band on the end of our hook. Then we're just going to pull it through and then put back on the other end like this. So that's two chains. Now we're going to add our third chain. We're going to put the green band on the end of our hook. Then we're going to pull through the chain, put it back on. Now we have three chains. So this is more complicated part. You're going to pull this band through this, like this. And now you have to make sure you put it in, you have to make sure you put your hook in the right spot. So we want to now start single crocheting the other way. And you have to make sure the S clip when you're facing it towards you, you have to make sure it's flat. So if we're going in this way, the C-clip is not flat. The C-clip is facing towards you. But if we put it in this way, the C-clip is flat. And that's how I explained it. Um, if you put it on top, then it's not going to work because it's not going to go through the two um, sides on the end and it's going to fall apart. So like, as you can see, these two are separate. If you put it, if you put it in between like this, it's going to fall apart. But if you put it through both sides, it's not going to fall because you, you made a band through both sides. You don't put it in between otherwise it's going to fall apart hopefully that was um understandable so basically you make sure the c-clip is flat like this facing towards you then you're going to go through the chain you're going to make a single crochet And this is, I would say, an intermediate pattern. So if you um, are doing this pattern, you should know how to do the single crochet, increase, and decreases. So make sure the C-clip facing towards you is flat like this. You're going to go through both sides. Because if you go through on top, they're going to split apart. So you have to go through both sides. That was wrong. Okay. 
like this single crochet and then you can take the c-clip off and it's not going to fall apart and if it does then that means you put it in between and you really just have to try if you put it accidentally put it in between just try it a different way like experiment it like I showed you here hopefully you can see what I'm doing and now that is row zero because I don't count this as a row so now you can put your c-clip on the band that's on your hook and now we're on to row one the chain stuff we did that I don't count that as a row so row one we're going to be we're going to do an increase around so we're going to actually go to the other side we're not going to turn we're going to increase on the other side so we're going to go through this stitch right here we're not going to go through this chain again because we just single crocheted we're going to hop over to the other side and then we're going to do an increase a one and two okay and we um we all together we need eight stitches so that was the first stitch we need to go through three more stitches all together four stitches so we're going to actually slip skip this little stitch right here because that was the result of a slip knot we're going to skip the stitch go on to the next stitch right here and do another increase one and two now the next stitch should be right here next to it three and the last stitch should have the c clip on it so four and all together you should have eight stitches because we did four increases Okay, and now we move the c-clip up onto the band on our hook so that was row one now we're going to move on to row two row two is a single crochet and increase all the way around and you should end up with 12 stitches at the end so single crochet and then an increase on the next stitch and now it should look pretty normal now it looks like what it would look like if you are just doing stitches on a magic ring single crochet and increase single crochet and increase single crochet and then last stitch should be an increase like this okay so the end of the row so you move up your c-clip and you should end up with 12 stitches so now let's move on to row three row three is going to be single crochet single crochet and then an increase so single crochet single crochet And then an increase and as I said before this pattern I would consider an intermediate pattern to advanced so 
If you are a beginner and you don't know how to do single crochets and increases and decreases, then I should suggest to search up some videos. I have an older video on my channel, but I will be making another video on how to do different stitches soon, so make sure you subscribe and stay tuned. But yeah, make sure you know how to do these stitches before you follow these tutorials because it's going to take me really, really long to show you how to like do the different stitches in this tutorial as well. So yeah, single crochet, single crochet, and increase. And single crochet, single crochet, and increase. And that is row three. So row 4 and 5 you're going to be doing a single crochet all the way around. So for the next two rows is single crochets. 1, 2, 3, 1. So I'll do one row with you. And then I will go off camera to do the second row. And we're almost at the end of the row. And last stitch. So that was row four. Now we're going to do row five, which is another single crochet all the way around. So I'm going to go off camera to do this one. And I just did row 5, which is single crochet all the way around. So now we're going to move on to row 6, which is still a single crochet all the way around. But now we're going to be using white bands. So you make sure you take it out and get ready to use them. So for the last three stitches, we're going to be using white. So I'll show you what I mean by that. So start single crocheting around with green two three four five six Seven, eight, nine, ten. Whoops, eleven. Twelve, thirteen, 
So after 13 single crochets with green, we're on to our last three stitches as you can see. One, two, and three. And now we're going to color change into white. So first you're going to do 13 single crochets in green. The last three stitches you're going to change into white. So you're going to put your hook through the next stitch. We're going to take a white band and we're going to do a color change. So basically you pull the white band through everything on your hook. Then put the other side back on and then you pull that side through that side like this. And that's how you do a color change. And then we're going to do two more single crochets. One and two. With white. Okay. So that is row six. So this is what I mean by when you change into white bands in the last three stitches. So for row seven, we're going to be doing 12 green bands, uh, single crochets all the way around. And then for the last four stitches, we're going to be changing back to white. So now we have to do a color change into green. So do a color change again. So that was one stitch. But you don't really have to count your stitches here because you know that for the last four stitches it's going to be white. Hopefully I'm not covering what I'm doing with my finger too much. I always, like when I do rainbow loom, I put my finger like this, right? To make it more stable, but... I kind of forgot to put my finger away so you can see what I'm doing. And now we're going to do 11 more green stitches because 16 minus 4 equals 12. So now we have four more stitches left. One, this side small looking uh, stitch does not count. So one, two, three, and four. So last four stitches we're going to change into white bands. So we're going, once again we're going to do a color change. And that was one stitch. Now we're going to do three more. Two, three, and four. And that is row seven. Move your C clip up. So for row eight, we're going to change two white bands on the last five stitches. So you can change back to green again. All the way until we reach the last five stitches.
Okay, so and we're going we to be on doing our last five stitches. Eleven green one, stitches. And the stitch doesn't count, so don't go into this one. One, two, three, four, and five. So we're going to do a color change once again. And we're going to change into white. So skip this small one. Two, three, grab more bands. All right. Three, four, and five. Oops, five. And you can move your C-clip up. And this is what it looks like so far. You have the belly right here. And now we're going to move on to row 9. So row 9, for the last 5 stitches, we're going to be doing 4 single crochets in white. And then the last stitch is going to be green. So let me show you what to do. Once again, we're going to color change back into green. So that's second one. Three. Four. And when we do a color change, that does count as a stitch. So, we are in our last five stitches once again. So the last five stitches should be all white. So skip this tiny stitch, that doesn't count. One, two, three, four, and five. So we're going to be doing four single crochets in white. So let's do a color change again. So one, two, Three, and four. And then the last stitch, we're going to color change back into green. And that is row nine. And now we are done with white bands, so you can put them away. And we are on row 10 now. So row 10 is just single crochet, single crochet, decrease all the way around, and you should end up with 12 stitches. So now we're just using green. So we're going to do a single crochet. Make sure you skip that tiny stitch right there. So single crochet, single crochet, and then we're going to do a decrease. Decrease is just taking the half closest towards you and then taking the back side of the second stitch like that. And then you do is decrease. That was kind of bad at explaining. Every time I try to explain the decrease, I, I like 
a different explanation every time. It's kind of confusing. So one, two, and decrease. Then one. and then decrease make sure you skip that tiny stitch right there should end with a decrease. Skip that tiny stitch right there. And there we go. You should have 12 stitches. You can go ahead and count patch if you would like. And now we can go ahead and stuff this a little bit. I actually ran out of stuffing so I can't stuff it but yeah. Make sure you have it stuffed the way that you would like it. So now we can move on to row, row 11. So row 11 is just a single crochet and a decrease all the way around. And you should end up with eight stitches. So single crochet. Make sure you don't accidentally go into this stitch. That was part of your decrease. So yeah, just double check. So single crochet and decrease. Single crochet and decrease. Single crochet, decrease, a single crochet, and then last should be a decrease. And that is row 11. Move your C-clip up. And now we can move on to row 12, which is the last row. The last row is going to be decrease all the way around. And you should end up with four stitches. So one. Two, three, and four. You can move the, well you actually you can take it off because you don't need it anymore. And how I usually close it is I take the band that's on my hook. Then I just go through the top of each stitch all the way around and pull it in and out. So I just pull it in. Then I take the top out of the next stitch. And I just pull it through. And then just, just pull any way you want until it's closed. And then when I think it's closed, I just go through the next stitch. Oh. And hard to go through. 
Okay. There we go. And then you can just take a stitch and pull through everything on your hook and do a slip knot. Like this. And then you can just hide it by pulling in side the frog. That make sure it's flat. And remember I kind of ran out of stuffing, so it's hollow right now. I'll take it apart and put stuffing when I get some. But yeah, this is what it looks like. And now we're going to make the eyes. So I'll show you how to make the eyes. Now the eyes is just six single crochets and a magic ring. So a magic ring, you take, I'll move this actually. You take a band and then you wrap it around your hook two times. So one, oops, sorry, one, and you take band again, two. So you have three loops on your hook. Then I'm going to make six stitches in the magic ring. So you're going to take a band on the end of your hook, going to pull it through three loops, then reclaim this, and then pull through. So that's one stitch. You're going to go back in, side, then once again you're going to take another band, pull through the loop, three loops only, claim, and then pull through those two loops. You're going to do that four more times, all together having six stitches. So three, four, five, and six. So you can count one, two, three, four, five, and six. And then you can just go into the stitch, next stitch, and do a decrease. I mean, not a decrease, a slip knot. Take a band, pull through everything on your hook, you claim, and then pull. And then you can just do another slip knot on one of these stitches. Do it the one next to it. And then do another slip knot. That way we can tie it into the head. But that's how you make the first eye. Now you need to make a second one. I'll make it really quickly on screen. So a magic ring. Six stitches. One, two, whoops, two, three. Four, five, six, and we can go single crochet in the next stitch. I mean, do a slip knot. Slip knot on the stitch next to it. And there you go, the next eye. So I'll show you how to attach it now. So now I'll show you how to attach the eyes. So you're gonna go to the top of your head and decide where you wanna put the eyes. I'm gonna put it right here. Then you're going to take one side of the band and pull it through and then you're just going to do a you can do a slip knot or you could just tie it I'm just going to tie it this 
can always take it out again if you think it's the wrong spot. Then you can just pull both sides in. Put a little bit of stuffing in because that's all I had left. That's why there's a little bit of stuffing coming out. That's one eye. Now we're going to add the other eye. So you can choose the opposite side. I'm going to put it right here. And you just go through the stitch. I'm going to go in it th this way, actually. Pull it through. And do just tie it. And then you can pull both sides in. Both of the, whoops, I actually pulled the, the stuffing out. You can just basically push the stuffing back in if it comes out. Okay. And that's how you put the eyes, adjusting it. And that's how you attach the eyes. So for the eyeballs, you can use cut out a little bit of felt, like a circle, and then you can use some glue to stick it onto the eyes. Um, you can use hot glue gun. That's what I used for this one. And you can also use safety eyes. And I am using this size which is, I'm actually not sure which size that is, but it's a small, it's a small size. It doesn't say on the package, but you can just stick the eyes in the middle, where the magic ring is. Here. And there you go. And for the mouth, you can cut a piece of black band. So you just take a piece of black band, then you cut it. Those are my scissors. So I can cut it in a half and make it like this. And it's actually a good idea to find any of your broken black bands, so you don't have to like cut a completely um, new piece of band. So yeah, just find a band that you already have that's broken, and then you can cut it down. So this is way too big. That would look really weird. But just cut it down to a small size. So now I'll show you where to put the cheeks. So for the cheeks, you can use some pink. I'm going to use these pinks. And you're going to... Put your hook around, it's around the, like underneath the eye, so I'm going to put one right here. You just have to decide and, no, I don't think it's there, it's, it's like right here. I'll put it right here. And after you decided where you're going to put the cheeks, you just take a pink band, pull it through and do a slip knot. Like that. And then pull it in. Like that. And then you can put it th and for the second cheek, I'm going to put it right here.
that and I'll go ahead and stick on the mouth a little later so this is what it looks like it turned out super adorable hopefully you were able to understand this tutorial and if you made it make sure you tag me on instagram shannon underscore q creations because i would love to see them and this frog is also available on my store cute creations by s and it's on etsy all the links will be below and i hope you'll be able to understand and i'll see you next time bye